hello guys so welcome again to my channel in this video i will discuss based on one of the request of my audience that is kishore thapa has requested that uh, how to decide when we have to use pin connection and when we have to use fixed connection this is the comment from kishore thapa thank you kishore for asking this question maybe this question or this confusion is very common among my fellow engineers so i have decided to make a video how to decide when we have to use pin connection and when we have to use fixed connection not only that how we will arrange or manage that fixed connection or pin connection okay so if you are new to this channel one of my request that is please do subscribe because definitely in future you are going to be benefited okay and if you like this video at the end please don't forget to share it to help another fellow engineers okay so let's start so why fixed connection is required very simple question why very simple question why fixed connection is required well the answer is to resist the moment okay and if you recap different support category there you can recall that if there is a pin connection this pin connection allow your rotation okay but if this connection is your fixed like this one okay so here if you apply any load or moment here rotation is not allowed okay so there is no rotation allowed in this fixed support or indirectly we can say that here the moment is resisted okay so simply to resist the moment we need fixed connection now you may ask why moment is there in any column base why there is moment so theoretically if there is any column like this one please consider this column okay let's say this is the column and this column is under the action of pure concentric axial load okay this is concentric there is no eccentricity so definitely it will directly pass through the cg of the column and it will come to this base and even if you provide a pin connection here this column is stable because there is no moment so there is no moment so there is no requirement of your fixed connection clear now what happen in real cases in real cases the load is always eccentric there is no doubt about it okay simply consider this column okay and if this is the cg maybe your load is being applied here or maybe there is a lateral load like this one so due to this eccentric load as well as this lateral load in this base there is a moment and you know that to cater or to resist this moment you need to put a fixed base here because any pinned connection under this moment or lateral load it is not stable what will happen simply it will rotate like this one it is not desired in our design so to resist this moment as well as this lateral load what we need to do you need to provide a fixed support or a fixed base okay so our first question is clear that to simply resist the moment we need fixed connection now the second question arises what is the second question that is how to build your fixed connection okay so before discussing this one i would like to discuss a very common and basic thing that is you know that if there is a moment like this one okay simply we can say that there is a pull like this one and there is a push like this one okay agree with me so whenever there is a moment there is a pull and a push or a tension and a compression so if you provide some material which can cater this tension as well as this compression yes this is fine we have built the fixed connection okay so to build this fixed connection what we normally do well in case of i section okay let's say you are using the i section okay this is the i section 
and if this is the column base this is the base plate what you have to do to cater this push and pull we need to provide bolt okay but bolt need to be placed here at this location okay when you have put your bolt out of the flange this push and pull has been catered but the i section is always a pinned connection about your minor axis okay why in minor axis if you apply a moment there is no material to cater this push and pull clear so whenever you are using your i section if you put the bolt in this way it is a fixed base along or about the major axis but about minor axis it is always a pinned connection now the reason is clear so about this minor axis if there is any lateral what we have to do we have to provide a bracing and i have discussed that in a video related to your bracing you can watch that video going to the playlist clear now this is all about i section suppose we are using a circular or rectangular section what will happen the basic is again same what we have to do we have to provide some material to cater the push and pull okay so let's say this is the circular column and this is the base plate and you have put some bolt here like this one okay so about any axis there is if there is any moment always there is some material to cater that tension or compression okay about any axis the same is also valid for a box or rectangular column section okay so if this is the section and this is the base plate if you put some bolt here like this one and here like this one there is always some material to cater the push and pull about your any axis whether it is major axis whether it is minor axis okay so i think now this is quite clear when we have to use our fixed connection and when we have to use our pinned connection and how to arrange this support base or you can say that fixed base or pinned base okay so if you find this video useful please don't forget to share it and also thanks for watching guys